Hey guys, what's up? So last time we were able to create our contact and we can come here, create a contact, save it and update our UI properly. So right now what I want to do is go ahead and add a switch here such that the user can, can say, I want you to add this contact to my favorite list. In React Native, we have a built-in switch component, which is cool. That's always native on every other platform. So on iOS, it will look different. On Android, it will look like the native switch, which always looks great. So to use it, we, of course, you already know, it's going to keep track of a true or false value. So you already know, let's just come here and import it. So we're going to import it here. So we're going to go to our contact component, make sure we import it. Then down here, before the button, we're going to have another view. So this view, we will have a text that will say add to favorites. Then we also have a switch. So now we can have the switch here. So to use the switch, I'm going to bring in this, then we are going to talk over them. So to use the switch, we import it, of course. So we have the track color and then the, the thumb. So the thumb color represents where a user touches. And then the track color represents where the user slides to. Okay. So now for it to show the visual difference when a user changes, maybe the state of the switch, we need a way to track if a user has maybe checked it or not. So in the form, we're going to have a property called is favorite. So it's going to be his favorite like this. Okay. So in the on value change, we are also going to handle the on value change inside the, the screen. So I'm just going to put, I'm just going to have a toggle value change here. And then this, the value sh we could, the value, we might not use it, but for now we are just going to, since we are already sending the form values, we can just keep it. So like this, then let's go ahead and create this function that will be responsible to update our form about our current state of this switch. So we need to make sure we are sending it here. So inside the screen, we can come here, then let's define this function. So const, so here we can have a set form. Now, of course, here we don't have a name. We already know it's one name. So here we can change is favorite. So the value of the is favorite will be the will be the opposite value of the current value. So here we can say it will be the form dot is favorite like this. So let's make sure we are sending this one down like this. So when we come here, you notice that we have our switch and when we click it, you see it changes. But what I want to do is now change these colors to use our app colors. This, I want it to stretch from left to right. So we're going to have a style here, add some flex. So flex direction, row, and then just by content space between, space between. I'm going to give this section some paddings on top and, and bottom. So we can do some padding vertical, let's say 10. Then let me do align items. So they are all aligned properly. So align item center, save it and now it's looking good. So for this text, I'm going to increase the font a bit. So style, font size, let me do like 17. And now it's bigger, which looks good to me. So about the colors here, so let's first examine these colors here. So I'm going to put a red and blue here for the track colors. So we see what's happening. So when we save, you notice that the track color is red and that's because it is true. So when we do this for the track color, when it is true, we really would not want it to be like this. So we would want it to be the primary color instead of the red. So here I'm going to come in and say, okay, use the primary color. So colors dot primary. Let's make sure we are importing them. Import colors, save. So when we come here, we can click here and now it is using the primary color. So the thumb color, we want it to be white, I believe. So for the thumb color, let's just come in and change it to white all the time. So I'm just, I'm just going to change this to F, 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 F. Okay, so save it and it's always going to be white. Okay, so if I click submit, you see that his favorite is false. If we turn it to true, 
it's gonna be true so now when we are saving we want to go to our we want to go to our action and for his favorite we can pass form dot is favorite or it can be false by default if the user doesn't really supply it okay so now let's try again so name input julia west then let me choose a country we choose a number so this is true then i'm gonna go ahead and save it so it's gonna go ahead and save so when it saves you notice that we sent it as true so we'll be sure that it's gonna be saved as true also so yeah so that's gonna do it for this video in the next one i'm gonna come in and we'll start working with firebase uploading pictures so yeah so it's gonna be interesting i'll talk to you soon